I'm Meredith. I'm going to take you on a journey and we start with grounding. Grounding is a really important way of just getting into our creative center and thinking about how we're going to journey that creation that you're going to start doing and creating. For me, meditation is a big part of, I guess, connecting, slowing down, pausing. This is something that I feel passionate about and for everyone I invite you to think about your daily meditation practice, how you're going into the world mindfully, how you're centering yourself, how you're slowing down so you can allow that creative place to come through you. One of the things I'd like to bring is that idea of meditation and that idea of slowing down and coming inward and really tuning in to your heart tuning in to that inner knowledge, that wonderful bank of knowledge that knows who you are and how to be amazing. And often we get in our own way with our mind story. So one of the things that I specialize in is shifting the story. And if you've got a block story going on, then I'd really like to invite you to think about that reframe. How do you want to have your flow story happen? I'm going to be guiding you through a series of meditations during our journey after our uh, art sessions that's always going to close with a wonderful meditation. So I really look forward to being your guide. If you're interested in this style of adventure, please click the link below, find out more information. I will see you on the other side. Bye. Hi, I'm Meredith. Welcome. I'm going to take you on a journey through this artist, um, I guess, landscape of learning. And I'm going to be connecting with Diana. Diana is going to be uh, sharing a lot of things about grounding. And behind me is a painting that is sort of energy and it's, you know, half disappeared because I'm in front of it. But there'll be energy coming out, which is like relative to your crown chakra. The aim is with artwork is that you are wanting to actually feel like you're here, fully present in your body, centered, there's energy going down into the ground and you can bring it up again to be fully here. And so when you're in that calm space and you've sort of calmed down the mental chatter, and ideally you can use music to help shift you into that space, you can then be in a process of what I call call and response and so it is like each mark you do in any decision visual decision you make it could be a, an area of color it could be a line it could be a scratchy mark whatever it is it will then propose another mark and in a way the painting or drawing can have its own identity its own consciousness almost and it can tell you what to do in a flow state instead of you going logically deciding on do this 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 is my order of events. It's keeping open and it's using a meditative state of mind where you just look at it and go, what do you want now? On the course, I'll be doing multiple demos. One will be to do of showing you the call and response. A classic way you could practice this, if you have someone you want to do artwork with, is you can form a tag team. And so one person does a mark, then the other person does a mark. So it's straight collaboration, but it's like, seeing how you can respond differently to normal, to not be in habit and just going, what does this mark spark in me? Because it's like each moment of each decision leads you into that flow state when you eventually get to be so fast, it's just constant, you can't actually keep track of it anymore and it can speed up without words. That's the ideal scenario I'll be leading you through with grounding and then being able to respond and receive.